Hey everybody, Jarrett Rushing with Arcade Lures here today to give you a little tidbit, a couple pointers if you will, on how to identify bass. Now one of the questions that I get asked all the time is, Jarrett, how do you tell the difference between a spotted bass, a largemouth, and so forth and so on? Well as luck would have it, I'm here today on beautiful Greer's Ferry, and I have caught what I call the trifecta. I've caught a largemouth, a spotted bass, and a smallmouth. So what I'd like to do is teach y'all how to identify these three species. So, without further ado. Let's start with the largemouth. Now the largemouth is one of the most common fish here in Arkansas. This one is about 13 and a half, 14 inches. One of the main characteristics that you can see is that its bottom jaw extends even with its eye whenever the jaw is closed and even sometimes past it. This is one of the larger bass species in Arkansas. Another way to identify is if you lift their dorsal fin, it has a prominent ridge right here in the center. And last but not least is the color. This is a very olive color, kind of drab color looking fish, if you will. Also, uh, it's kind of a, not necessarily something that you can always go on, but if you were to rub the tongue of this fish, it is smooth. Unlike the spotted bass, which has an adaptive uh, rough patch on its tongue for feeding. So, what we have here is the spotted bass. Now the first thing you need to know is whenever you close the jaw, it'll typically extend just even with the eyes. It won't go past them like the largemouth bass. Likewise, the color pattern on this is extremely vibrant. It is very, very green, and you can see the spotted lateral line, which kind of signifies spotted bass. Last but not least, of course, like we talked about the dorsal fin, you can see that this one does not have a prominent ridge. It's kind of flat all the way across. Two more cool characteristics about a spotted bass are their eyes will typically be red. And like we were saying about the largemouth bass, if you take and rub your finger across the tongue of a spotted bass, they have an adaptive rough patch used for feeding. And finally, we have this guy right here. Now, this is a very nice smallmouth bass caught here in Greer's Ferry. As you can tell, this is a brown fish. One of the trade names or you know weird characteristical names of a smallmouth is a brownie, and for good reason. Like the spotted bass, it really doesn't have a deep appendage. Now, it has a little bit of stuff going on up here that I'm not sure with, but it doesn't have a deep ridge in between the dorsal fin and the main portion here. If we close its jaw, its jaw only extends to its eye. Its eyes are not red. And much like the spotted bass, or like, much like the largemouth, excuse me, it will have a smooth tongue. Now, smallmouth bass can take on several different colorations. This one here actually has spots on it, has a couple of what we call tiger stripe lines, whereas I have one in here that I'm gonna try to get. I don't have him tagged, but I'm gonna see if I can get him so I can show him off to y'all. This is a different one here. This actually, looking at this, this actually looks like a mean mouth bass now that I actually look at it. So this is actually pretty cool too. And now that I'm really looking at this bass, this is a mean mouth. So a mean mouth is a hybrid between a spotted bass and a uh, small mouth bass. So it has the brown color, but it also has a lot of green mixed in with it, as you can see, and it's spotted all along down the side of its, uh, down the side of its lateral line there. Likewise, it's got the rough patch on its tongue, as you can see right there. So I didn't even know that I caught a mean mouth, but there you go. We actually have a mean mouth that we're gonna show off as well. This is the other one that I wanted to show off. As you can see, it's very light colored. It's not really dark. And it's got the stripes going down the side. So this is the way that you can identify a bass in Arkansas. Again, the easiest way is looking at color. The second easiest thing is looking at the dorsal fin, looking at the jaw, and then rubbing your finger across their tongue to see if they have that rough patch.
I'm gonna get these guys back in the water and I appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you've got any questions, drop a comment here. I'd love to kind of explain more about what a mean mouth is, what a small mouth is, all of that fun stuff. But I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Like always, y'all keep chugging.